The movie begins with an advert promoting a new revolutionary product, beauty water. It's like do-it-yourself plastic surgery. After dipping yourself in the water for around 20 minutes, your body will become soft. Then you can reshape and even slice off yourself like clay into a beautiful supermodel. This was the product of the future. We are then introduced to Yeji, a young girl who doesn't necessarily fit the beautiful category. When she was young, she was a brilliant mind with all the skills within her command, but something had always been off. No one seemed to love her, all because she wasn't beautiful. Several years later, in her youth, Yeji had become the exact opposite of what she was before, letting go of even her skills to avoid getting attention to her ugly face. She was fat and unhealthy, and on top of that, she was a minor makeup artist in an advertisement company. The lead actress, Lee Mi Ryul, constantly berates her, going as far to tell her to wear a mask around her so that she doesn't have to see Yeji's face. One day after they work on Lei Mei Ryul's makeup for the upcoming ad shoot, suddenly a handsome newbie actor, Ji Hoon, arrives to greet Lee Mi Ryul. He greets the senior actress along with her whole staff, even Yeji. Ji Hoon even notices Yeji and her beautiful eyes. For the first time, someone had complimented Yeji and she got so flustered she couldn't even speak. She hadn't even realized that she had a really unique color of her pupils as Ji Hoon had pointed it out. But Yeji doesn't get to revel in the moment longer than a few seconds as Mi Ryul starts hurling objects at her to get her out of the room. Yeji hates her. She hates everything about the self-conceited actress. She rushes outside, unable to bear the anger. She sits down, cursing the actress, who is so overconfident of her beauty. Moments later, Ji Hoon joins her. He sympathizes with her, accepting the fact that Mi Ryul was very rude without her even doing anything to the actress. He then asks her to do his makeup right there, and the two converse as Yeji works on him. Yeji feels really grateful for his actions toward her and even develops a bit of a crush on him. During the shoot, Yeji is told by one of the staff that the other cast member had not arrived and she had to take his place. All she had to do was eat in front of the camera and she was going to get paid some extra cash. Yeji agrees and after the lead actor's performance, she eats like she meant it. The job was well done and she returns home with some extra cash. Immediately. Yeji goes to the store to get a large amount of food all for herself. She cannot shake the fact that everyone treats her differently just because of the way she looks, but she doesn't care anymore. After years of bullying and self-loathing, she had come to accept the fact that she could never be loved. The fact that even her mother and father didn't seem to care that she was ugly and didn't even try to help her with expensive cosmetics and stuff made her feel that she was all alone. Like usual, she returns home and locks herself in. Yeji then scours the internet for comments that berate Mi Ryul. She laughs at people's comments, calling Mi Ryul's face and beauty a product of plastic surgery. The harsh comments make her happy and glad that at least there was some place where Mi Ryul got what she deserved for being the jerk that she was. Suddenly, she notices that her video of her eating from earlier had gone viral and there were hundreds of comments calling her fat pig and disgusting. She can't take it. All the words pierce through her heart and she loses it. A few days have now passed. Yeji has shut herself in her room and refuses all her parents' requests to come out. She has been all alone, doing nothing, when suddenly she gets a random text telling her that she has won a special prize of a free plastic surgery item. Yeji is confused. She had never even ordered anything as stupid as that and simply ignores the text, but the next day, she receives a parcel at her doorsteps. Intrigued, she opens it up and finds two bottles of cosmetics labeled Beauty Water, a card of the store's location, and a flash drive. She quickly checks the drive and discovers the tutorial on how to use the Beauty Water. The lady in the tutorial is similar to Yeji. She is fat and doesn't really have any disgusting features to her face. She explains how to use the water. First. Drop some in a container and then dip your face for 20 minutes, no more, no less. When the time is up, Yeji watches in horror as the lady's face starts to melt away. She even uses a knife to cut her face away and soon it turns into a bewitchingly beautiful woman. Yeji cannot pass up an opportunity like this and quickly uses the bottles she had been given 
and her face turns into a beautiful masterpiece, but the bottles were enough only for her face and her body remains just like it was before. She had to make sure she gets more of it so that she could fully transform. She quickly rushes to the address on the card and finds herself standing in front of a shady apartment. She introduces herself to the CCTV monitoring her and the door opens. The owner of the store was the same lady who had displayed the use of the product. Yeji asked the woman why she had given her a free sample and the woman explains that she wanted to choose a viral personality who was, to put it hardly, ugly. This could mean a lot of publicity for her product. Yeji doesn't know how to respond to that. I'm not sure anyone could. Yeji begs her to give her the rest of the bottles for her body, but for that, the woman asks her to get 200 million won. The fact that it was asked so casually makes the whole prize from the Squid Game sound reasonable. Yeji runs back to her home and asks her parents for the money, but her parents are very reluctant to give her the money. Yeji then threatens them and blames her parents for never helping her to get over being ugly and never supporting her. She basically guilt trips them into giving her the money. With the money, she finally transforms into a fantastic beauty after taking a dip into the bath full of beauty water. She quickly uses this newfound body to date several men to find herself a good rich boyfriend. But most of the guys she goes on a date with are either liars who just want to sleep with her or whiny babies who are not worth her time. She manages to get one proper date, but she doesn't really find the man that interesting either. He invites her to an exclusive party and she agrees to go because she had wanted to go there for a long time. There she stumbles into the agent of Mi Ryul. She asks her to give him a call and he could make her a star, but Yeji was too pissed to pay him much attention at that time. She had been denied access to the VIP room and this made her mad. She was pretty. I guess that didn't mean she could get everything. Later, as she is soaking over the fact, she realizes that she had once again started to get fat. She was once again starting to become the fat ugly girl that she was. She gets scared and rushes back to her room and decides to take another bath in a pool of beauty water. She puts a timer on 30 minutes and goes into the bathtub. As she gets in, she starts dreaming of her childhood. When she was once an exceptional dancer, but no one had loved her because of her face and how unpleasing it was. As she falls asleep in the bath, her phone battery dies. Her mother crashes in looking for her as she had been gone for a long time now and watches in horror as she finds her daughter's body all disfigured and ugly, far worse than what she was originally. She calls in her husband and they are both perplexed and confused as to what they should do. The mother remembers that beauty water could reattach the flesh to a person as well, but the thing is Yeji's flesh had melted away and there was no way they could add that back to her. Having no choice left, the loving parents use their own flesh to save their daughter's life. They are old and their flesh is not enough to bring Yeji back to her former beauty, but it's just enough to keep her alive. When she wakes up, however, Yeji is not pleased with the zombie-esque body that she had now and takes whatever money she has and returns back to the woman who owned the beauty water. She, however, is a very stingy person and doesn't want to help Yeji. Not because she doesn't want to, but because Yeji doesn't have enough money to pay her. Yeji begs the woman to help her, and the woman agrees on the condition that she licks her feet. A desperate Yeji is ready to take any action and does exactly as she is asked. The woman works on Yeji and fixes her up, but only fixes her hands and her face and leaves the rest of the body as it was. Yeji is confused why, but the woman tells her that with the money she brought, she can only do that much. She explains that flesh is very expensive and Yeji should be thankful that she helped her even that much. She starts berating Yeji, going as far as calling her a pig. Out of all things, this is the one thing that Yeji cannot take and she starts attacking the woman and eventually manages to kill her. Yeji uses her flesh to reconstruct her body back to her actual self. Elsewhere in the news, the reporters have been reporting several women in their 20s missing. Even the actress Mira Yule has left her job and has been contactless from the media. Yeji has been working as the head actress in the same company now and is the number one actress in the business. Yeji is now successful 
and pretty. However, the guilt of murdering someone keeps haunting her. One day, she stumbles into Ji Hoon again. He too had left the industry and explains how the agency had been treating Mi Ryu. The two end up having a great time together that day and talk about many things and find themselves attracted to each other. The two start dating. Life has started to get better slowly and steadily for Yeji, but she just cannot shake off the guilt of her actions and even starts seeing stuff in the mirror. One day, she even thinks she saw her face wilting once again, but it was all in her mind. She had rushed back to her home to use the beauty water again just to realize that she had been hallucinating. This even makes her a bit late for her date with Jin Hoon, but the guy is perfect. He isn't even angry at her. That day, Ji Hoon proposes to her for marriage, and she gleefully accepts. They go back to Ji Hoon's place. Yeji notices his family picture, which doesn't really have him in it. There are his parents and two sisters. His youngest sister is not at all like her parents and is a bit shabby, but Ji Hoon tells her she is his favorite. As Ji Hoon then heads to make some dessert to celebrate the occasion, Yeji goes around his apartment. She stumbles into Ji Hoon's room and notices a box containing beauty water. She gets shook and investigates further and sees the belongings of all the women who had been lost in the past month. He was the killer, and she realizes that he wanted to kill her too. She quickly runs away, but Ji Hoon follows her, and despite her attempts, she is quickly captured by Ji Hoon. He then takes her and ties her up and reveals himself to be the same ugly daughter in the picture. He had turned himself into a guy after getting taunts for being ugly despite her talents. Then, with the help of Beauty Water, he had collected all the beautiful women and the features one by one. The whole agency was actually made so that he could get beautiful women to join and then take their features. He had even taken Mi Ryul's features, which is why she had been lost from the media lately. Ji Hoon had noticed her eyes ever since the start and wanted to add it to his collection and finally he could achieve that dream too. He takes a surgical knife and carves her eyes out. The movie ends as the agent scouts another pretty woman for him to take the features of. This one had beautiful lips and the agent sends her picture to Ji Hoon. Ji Hoon smiles, Yeji's eyes attached to her legs. His new target was ready. Subscribe for more videos like this, turn on the notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thanks for watching.